Okay, hey guys, it's uh, May the 5th, 2018, Cinco de Mayo, and I wanted to try something a little different this year, and I wanted to document it to show my successes and show my failures, and actually, honestly, to put it online to get some tips out there from the garden world to become a better gardener. So I'm going to show you throughout the year uh, my trial and errors and the good and the bad of my gardens that I'm going to have in my yard this year. So what I have here is this is my garden. Uh, it's 28 feet wide by 33 feet long and obviously it's not ready to go yet. I just took the tarps off of it and I expanded it from last year and I've already had a failure and a success and that back in February I put down black tarps on this whole section right here to kill the grass so that I could easily till it with my tiller. Well, some of the sections I had to use a blue tarp where this heavy grass has just grown up right through it. So I've already had a failure in that and that is going to be a pain in the butt to dig out before I'm able to till this all up. I mean, look at this. This was a tarp. This was tarped and the everything grew right through those blue tarps. So I now know for next year, I need black. <laughs> so I'm going to grow a lot of different things in here. And I'm not going to bother to show you all the work that's going to be involved because I have a feeling this is going to take a few hours, if not longer, just to get it ready. And then uh, I'll start the tilling process. Uh, the dirt itself is already really good. Uh, the one thing I do throughout the winter is we save all of our organic scraps and as you can see I got a couple holes I never fill back in every time our bucket gets full I come out here and I dump it in the garden and I bury it and actually it looks like I had some birds get into this at one point there's a bunch of eggshells from breakfast and by the time spring comes when it's time to plant my dirt is as black as night it's totally good totally ready to go I till it once or twice three times at the max while I run the tiller through here and I'm ready to go. Um, this year is going to be a little harder being that tarp really failed me. I mean this didn't even, I'm going to cut it as low to the ground as I can with my zero turn and then I'm going to have to get a spade shovel and just pop it all out and hope for the best. Um, I will go over one thing with my tiller here. This is a 1987 pony. Fun story to this. Uh, a lady on the side of the road had it sitting out in her garbage so I pulled up and I said hey do you would you like me to take that uh, if you're gonna throw it in the garbage she's like yeah it's no good I can't get it to start so I said okay I threw it in the back of my truck and uh, a retail before I say anything these things retail for anywhere from a thousand to fourteen hundred dollars and up you know depending on where you go so I get it home and the engine is seized on it so I'm like, no big deal. So all I did was I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up one of these Predator engines for like 99 bucks. And then I think I had a coupon for like 10% off. I think I paid like $85 for this thing. I took off the old engine, threw it in the scrap yard. I put on the new engine. All I had to do was buy a new pulley right here. That's all I had to do, fired it right back up. I have a brand new tiller. All because somebody wanted to throw one out in the garbage. So that's just something to think about. If you're ever looking for a tiller, just drive around neighborhoods. If see if you see one sitting out, see if anybody put a thing on Craigslist. All you gotta do is throw the engine away. Take it to a scrap yard, throw it in a scrap yard. All I did was change the oil and put a brand new engine on it for $95. I have a brand new tiller that I've had for years now. So that's a good tip. Try that. Save you a lot of money. But I'll show you uh, once I have all this done, and then we'll go from there. Okay, here's another one of our gardens that we have. This is our strawberry patch. Uh, this is just in a raised bed. This is three feet wide by 28 feet long. And as you can see, we actually already have a lot of, oh, there's strawberries down there, little ones. The weather has been so bad, I have not been able to get out here. And we finally had some decent weather yeah, I mean, I got blossoms. There's already little baby strawberries down there. 
I haven't had time to get this cleaned out and replanted but all these strawberries you're seeing are runners I planted last year yeah I mean see we got actually strawberries I can harvest right now today that I haven't even cleaned the flower bed out yet so that's a real nice sign but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna actually count the total yield of what we get out of this and what it costs to replenish the strawberry patch so you can see the money difference but like I said this is another project today I'll get all these weeds thankfully it's all chickweed which is really easy to pull out probably the birds depositing it from in here picking all winter long uh, but we'll get this taken care of and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done okay here we have another garden at the end of my property this one's 10 feet by 25 feet long uh, this is more for the birds every year I try to plant sunflowers here and this is where I could use your guys' help some years they've come up and other years they get to about six inches tall and the deer just mow them down and that's where I could use your guys' help on this if you have a tip or a trick just shy of putting the fence up you're gonna see what I use here in a minute on my other garden on my property but I leave this one open uh, I like to put sunflowers here because we have a ton of dove and as much as I like shooting them around here I'd like to feed some of them also so I have the space so why not but the dang deer eat the stuff as soon as it gets six inches tall you know so any uh, I'm gonna put a scarecrow up here and see if that helps this year and hopefully they'll get tall enough though I might try to harvest one or two of them maybe do something with the sunflower seeds or I'll just let the birds eat them all winter long and just let them die uh, but this is the next one so just, uh, stay tuned for the planting and I'll show you my last garden okay here's the last garden on my property probably one of my favorite even though it doesn't look the greatest this is uh, 13 by 35 this is my way to stop deer again because everything I plant down at the end of this property gets eaten so I went online and got all these pallets for free and just made a pallet fence out of it but this is where I plant all my runners um, I like to keep the garden up front as clean as possible and then this one I've already tilled it as you can see I ain't gonna bother showing a video of me tilling but I've already tilled it up it's ready to go and down here is where I plant my cantaloupes my watermelons and uh, we're gonna do a row of pumpkins this year um, with this garden I just let it go I don't come out here and pick weeds every day I'm gonna do one long row of watermelons one of cantaloupe one giant pumpkin you know if I can get a, another row in here I'll throw another row of something I don't care if they intertwine uh, or cross paths or you know as long as they don't pop out of the thing and I don't hit them with the mower I'm good and mainly that the deer don't eat them because that's another thing I planted everything down here last year and the deer ate everything everything I had in here so I put up a free fence that I got this fence literally cost me nothing doesn't really bother me at all it's not an eyesore um, hopefully I mean the deer can jump over it it's only four feet so if they jump over it I guess they earned it but hopefully I have a nice crop of uh, pumpkins cantaloupes and watermelons and I'll get this raked out. It's already nice and good. It's a nice sandy soil. It's got some good nutrients in it. It's ready to be planted. And then uh, the next video will show you going, doing that. And you know, like I said, I'm uh, I'm always open to suggestions. You know, comment below. Um, if you see something that you've done for 10, 20 years and it works, tell me. I'm all ears. Uh, that's why I'm basically doing this video. You know, to combat the deer and I've got some serious mugwort that run through my one flower bed that I can't get a hold on. So if you know any tips on how to stop mugwort running through your yard, uh, I'm all ears for that. And, you know, anything you want to post, post below. Uh, I'll definitely read them all. And, and if uh, you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And you can follow me throughout the summer uh, during this growing season and you'll see what I harvested. Maybe you'll learn something and uh, maybe I'll learn something too. So thanks, keep watching.